Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce our work called Hybrid Semantic Conflict Prevention in Real-Time Collaborative Programming. My name is Wen Hua Xu, my co-author is including Yitan Zhang, Brian Zhao, Dong Chen, Jing Feng Jiang, Bo Wen Du, and Hong Fei Fan. Software development requires effectively um, collaboration by multiple programmers. In general, there are two approaches for collaborative programming, namely non-real-time collaborative programming and real-time collaborative programming. Non-real-time collaborative programming has been widely applied in the industry as a traditional and mutual collaboration approach, which is commonly supported by version control systems like Git. When multiple programs work collaboratively, they need to manually merge branches to resolve conflicts. In contrast, real-time collaborative programming is an emerging collaborative programming approach that has attracted increasing attention and interest in the recent years. There is no need to manually merge concurrent work, and the conflicts due to communication problems could be reduced. In order to allow collaborators to edit freely in a session without being affected by network factors, um, real-time collaborative editing system has been commonly designed with a replicated architecture, where each collaborating set maintains a distributed copy of the shared documents. And such architecture, each user's local editing operation will be immediately executed at a local site and sent to other collaborators. Consequently, there arises a classic problem called syntactic consistency, which is concerned with maintaining the consistency of all distributed copy of the document after all editing operations have been propagated and executed remotely. The solution is the op operational transformation technique. By transforming the remote operations under certain conditions, the syntactic consistency of replicated document can be guaranteed at all collaborator sites. In addition, there is another higher level consistency problem, named the semantic consistency. Syntactic consistency consists the consistency of the replicated code, while semantic consistency emphasizes the consistency of coding logic. For supporting semantic consistency maintenance, parallel work proposed a dependency-based automatic locking and DL schism, which prevents concurrent editing working on the same and interdependent source code regions. For the convenience of discussion, we introduced several terms in DL schism. In object-oriented programming languages such as Java, a class can be divided into basic regions and open areas. A basic region is a self-contained logical unit, which can refer to a field or method, while all other spaces can be regarded as open areas. In a source code document, if basic region A depends on region B, there is a dependency relationship from A to B. Mm, given a source code document, we can obtain a mm, dependency graph, DG, by analyzing the dependency relationship among all basic regions. In the DG, a node represents a basic region, and an age from node A to B represents a dependency relationship from A to B. The source code Q.class can be parsed into a DG with 7 open areas and 10 basic regions. In parallel DL schism, whenever a programmer attempts to edit a region, the DL schism automatically detects the working region, derives the dependent region, 
requests and grant logs on them for this program. And finally, release logs when the work is completed. <coughs> However, the existing DL schedule is too restrictive. Whenever a user is editing a basic region, all dependent regions will be locked by the user until he finishes his work. And the concurrent work is seriously impacted by extremely large locking scope. On the other hand, locking some weakly dependent regions doesn't make sense. To better balance the maintain complete prevention and the concurrent programming work, we contribute a novel hybrid semantic conflict prevention, HSCP approach in this study. First, we introduce a new definition called dependent depths. In the DG, a dependency depth from node A to node B refers to the minimal number of edges from node A to node B. According to the dependency depths, F depths and the M depths can be derived. F depths means the dependency depths of field, M depth means the dependency depths of method. Under the HSTP schism, the dependent regions of each program are divided into strongly dependent and weakly dependent regions. HSCP is composed of a customizable locking scope mechanism and a three-level awareness mechanism. In real-world scenarios, each collaborating program can customize FDAPs and MDAPs in the user interface to dynamically adjust the locking scope. FDAPs means locking all field, uh, all field regions with dependency depths less than or equal to F depths. Um, M depths means locking all method regions with dependency depths less than or equal to M depths. The change of locking scope can be immediately propagated to all collaborator sets. We present a simple example in this picture. One user f depth is 2 and m depth is 1, and another user f depth is 1 and m depth is 1. Under the prior DL schism, multiple programs were certainly not allowed to work at the same time because each user needs to lock all dependent regions. After adopting customizable locking scope mechanism, there is still conflict prevention for regions outside the locking scope. We have further developed a three-level awareness mechanism for distinguishing the working region, um, strongly dependent regions and weakly dependent regions. Um, programmers can intuitively observe the, and assess the risk of semantic conflicts based on the awareness highlight of a basic region. These three types of regions correspond to different semantic conflict risk. Based on the risk level of semantic conflicts, the working regions, strongly dependent regions, and the weakly dependent regions are highlighted by a series of colors from dark to light. Locking is enforced in working regions and the strongly dependent regions, whereas awareness highlight is applied in weakly dependent regions. The WD region is the overlapping region of working region and the dependent region by different users, and the DD region is the overlapping regions of dependent regions from different regions on different users. To implement the HSP schism on different platforms without redundant work, we have designed an architecture that separates a set of common functionalities from platform-specific client, client components. The HSP core module provides common functionalities, while the HSP um, cross-platform interfaces defines platform-specific components. Under this architecture, dependency-related information can be retrieved by implementing the 
from specific interface. After being processed by the HSAP core module, the information will be transmitted to other collaborators and stored in the local HSAP data structures. In this architecture, derived dependent region set can derive strongly dependent regions from source code, and the derived awareness region set can derive weakly dependent regions from source code. Get HCP awareness can determine the color of regions by analyzing analyzing the lock or awareness flag in the HSAP locking table. The safety LSU is invoked after each local or remote editing operation has been executed. In safety LSU, we will call derived dependent region set and derived awareness region set to derive strongly and weakly regions of each user and add the logs and the flags respectively. Under the HSAP schism, each collaborating set maintains a user table and a region state table. The user table is used to store the latest uh, editing operation and the locking scope processing of all collaborators and uh, the region state table is used to record the logs and the awareness flags of all basic regions in current document. Core Eclipse and Core Idea are two real-time collaborative programming systems proposed and implemented in prior work, which transparently convert the single user Eclipse and IntelliJ IDEA into multi user real time collaborative programming tools. In, in this study, we have successfully implemented the HSCP schism and integrated it into two prototype systems. This figure presents user locking scope policy setting interface of HSAP in Core Eclipse and Core Idea. User can choose whether to turn on HSAP function and specify the locking scope policy setting. User A on the left is use the Eclipse IDE and in the locking scope policy setting panel F depth uh, equal to 1 and M depth equal to 0. User B on the right is using IntelliJ IDEA and the locking scope policy setting panel f depth equal to 1 and m depth equal to 2. In this figure, user A and user B are programming in the source code of Q.java. User A on the left using CoEclipse, the editing method offer, and the awareness highlights are immediately displayed on user B set on the right using CoIdea. It's worth mentioning that user A's working and the dependent regions are currently highlighted by three colors. The working region method offer is highlighted by dark blue. The strongly dependent region field red is highlighted by blue, and the weakly dependent region method is full is highlighted by light blue. When user B is editing method pool, B's logs and awareness highlights will immediately appear on user A set. The method F of B is 2, and the method is empty is a strongly dependent region. It can be seen from the figure that there are three fields, field front cap capacity and array, which are overlapping dependent regions and Presenting the DD color green. Um, from the figure, we can intuitively observe the risk of semantic conflicts in different regions based on the highlight colors. Then, user B clicks on user A's working region. Method offer a rejection notification will prompt up, and the system prevents user A from working in this basic region. When user B is ready to work, in method is full, which is a weakly dependent region of user A. 
there will be no rejection, but the region will be highlighted by WD color as a special warning. Rose red. It is worth pointing out that there are syntactic errors in both working region and the dependent region. But the DL mechanism still behave correctly with collect highlight awareness and locks. The performance of these utility functions also depends on the amount of collaborating programs, basic regions and the fields reference and the method invocations. The experimental confirmed the, the good performance of the core module. We have further evaluated the parent form related AST analysis function in Eclipse and IDEA. Due to the different implementations of AST analysis on different platforms, the performance of these fun functions on different platform is also different. The experimental confirms the good performance of these platform specific components. Mm. In this study, we have proposed a novel hybrid thematic conflict prevention, which in, um, includes customized locking scope mechanism and three level awareness mechanism. In addition, we have designed a close platform system architecture of HTCP and successfully implemented it on CoEclipse and uh, CoIdea. A comprehensive set of experiments have confirmed that the responsiveness, efficiency, and the usability of SGSAP schism and, and the solution in real world scenarios. We have been continuous working in the field of semantic conflict prevention for real-time collaborative programming. And our future work includes supporting multiple working groups, and achieving semantic conflict prevention across multiple source code documents. We are continuously developing and improving the research prototype and planning to re release the programmers and the source code for the community to utilize with more in-depth evaluations. Thank you for listening.